friends, welcome to Orario. In the last class, we were discussed about the stimulus, impulse, receptors, nervous system and the basic structure of nervous system called the neuron. And in this class, we were going to discuss in detail the structure of neuron. Look at this figure. This is the structure of neuron. And we already discussed that neuron also have the structure similar to a typical cell. It consists of a well-defined nucleus, cytoplasm and cytoplasm is covered by a definite cell membrane. The whole part which consists of a typical structure of a cell is known as cytone. So, cytone is the enlarged portion of neuron. It consists of the structure which is similar to the typical cell. It consists of nucleus cytoplasm and cell membrane. The whole enlarged structure of neuron is known as cytone. It consists of nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. And from the cytone, there is a small filament. You see this? A small filament. It is a branch from cytone. That branched structure from the cytone is known as dendron. Okay, this is dendron, the branded structure arising from cytone. Okay, then the dendron is rebranching into small other branches that are called dendrite. The small branches rebranching from dendron is known as dendrite. Can you follow me? This is dendrite. And the peculiarity of dendron is, it is the shortest filament arising from cytone. Now we are moving to the longest filament arising from cytone, which is known as axon. The longest filament arising from cytone is known as axon. And the dendron is branched into dendrite. Likewise, the axon is branching into small branch like structure called the axonite. So, this is axonite. The branching of axons. Now, look at the tip of the axonite. There is a noble-like structure. The axonite will end at the noble-like structure which is called synaptic node. The noble-like structure at the tip of the axonite is known as synaptic node. So, this is the structure of neuron. I repeat the main parts. The enlarged portion is called cytone. It consists of cytoplasm, nucleus and cell membrane. The short filament arising from cytone is termed as dendron and the branches of dendron is known as dendrites. The dendron is rebranching to form dendrite. So dendron, dendrite and cytone. The dendron is the shortest filament arising from the cytone and while the axon is the longest filament that arising from cytone. Dendrite is the branch of dendron, then axonite is the branch of this axon. Axonite will end at a small knob-like structure, it is called a synaptic knob. You might have thought that why I didn't mention this structure. Actually, it is not the part of neuron, but it repeatedly encircling the axon. This is known as Schwann cells. Schwann cells. So, this is the structure of neuron. I hope that you understood the structure of neuron very well. So, we discussed the main parts of neuron. Now, we are going to study the function of each part of neuron in detail. Starting from the left, the first part is dendrite. It is the branch of dendron. The function of dendrite is to receive impulses and transmit that impulses to the next part which is 
dendron. So it is like a step by step process. The dendrite will receive impulses and it will carry or it will transmit that impulses to the next part which is dendron. So the next part is dendron. Dendron is the shortest filament. I repeat it is the shortest filament arising from cytone. So the function of dendron is to receive impulses from dendrite and transmit to the next portion which is cytone. Okay. So the function of cytone is to receive impulse from dendron and pass to the next portion which is the longest filament of the neuron. It is known as axon. So the function of cytone is to transmit impulse to axon and the function of axon is to transmit impulses to the next portion which is the branch of axon it is called the axonite. Now the impulse reach at the axonite and the function of axonite to transmit impulses to the next portion which is known as synaptic nerve. Here the synaptic nerve. So it is a continuous process starting from the dendrite to the synaptic nerve. The impulses are carrying from dendrite, dendron, cytone, axon, axonite and finally it will reach at the synaptic nerve. And this is the transmission of impulses in a single neuron and the functions of each part is defined well here. We want to transmit the impulses from one neuron to another neuron. Now the impulse is at synaptic nerve and the synaptic nerve will secrete a special chemical substance known as neurotransmitter. The function and the peculiarity of neurotransmitter we will discuss later. So I conclude that the synaptic nerve will secrete a special chemical substance known as neurotransmitter. I hope that you understood the structure of neuron, its parts and its function. Now there is a work for you. Please prepare a table which is showing the main parts of neuron and their functions. I already said that Schwann cells are not a part of neuron but it encircling the axon repeatedly. Repeatedly means around 200 to 300 times. Then we want to study in depth the function of Schwann cells. Here we just mentioned the Schwann cells. In the coming class we will discuss more about Schwann cells. Thank you.